Okay, here we are again, and this one, this video, um, it's about um, using cards to know in advance who's going to win a football game. I mean, uh, it's called soccer in North America, but really it's football in Europe. Because somebody had watched one of the videos and sent me an email saying, it's a nice video, but the tarot isn't scientific. And I don't really know what the person means by scientific, but um, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, but let's see, he, um, he asked me if I could tell him in advance who was going to win a football match between Blackpool and Wigan in England. It's a cup match and it's on the 25th of August and it begins kickoff with like quarter to eight or quarter to nine. And so he wants to know if I can let him know in advance who's going to win this game. And so um, I could have written out an answer and emailed it to him, but I thought I'd make a video because it could be useful for people. If you if you ask this kind of question by somebody, how do you go about giving a correct or giving an answer? I say correct answer. Ideally, it will be correct. So um, before I get to that, I wanted to make a couple of points first. And one is, let's say somebody asks you, um, how was what's going to happen in my relationship? What's going to happen with romance? And you shuffle and you, ch and you choose a card. Um, so let's see. This is the answer: the five of batons. If 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 you choose one card, it's not so much choosing one card that can be the problem. It's more. It's difficult if this card is seen in isolation. And so, what's going to happen in romance? Who knows? It looks busy, but. Is it good or is it bad? And it can be diff Sometimes you, you turn a card and you get stuck. You just don't quite know what to say. And sometimes it's because you've got no context. Whereas if you had chosen three cards, the past, the present, and the future, then you know that the person knows what relationships were like in the past. And you would tell from this. Okay, um... That's that five of buttons again. Okay, the present is justice, and the the future is the four of pent uh, four of pentacles. So, you get a, an idea if if we had had buttons in the future, then what was in the past is also going to be in the future. Whereas here we've got buttons in the past and coins in the future. So what you had in the past is not going to repeat in the future, and that can be useful for the questioner to know. And so, I'm I'm talking like this because I think it's important that we we think about or decide what we want the cards to show because the question is the question could be what about um, what's my romance life going to be like and so if you're going to choose one card let's say you want to know the next type of person that you're going to meet the nine of swords somebody who's been hurt somebody who's been who's been who's had bad experiences in relationships so you know you're going to be have to be kind considerate if they get annoyed with you it's probably nothing to do with you it's to do with the other person that they just broke up with and so on whereas the question could be um what am i to learn from the next relationship and it's the nine of the nine of cups or um how should i behave with the next person I meet, and we've got the devil. But because it, it doesn't matter so much what the cards are, it's more that you've got a context, or you've got a background, so you can then interpret the card correctly. Instead of just, you know, what's romance going to be like, and you turn a card, the two of swords, I don't know, what is it going to be like? Because it's, it's not so much that it's a vague question, but it's just not... Do you know what I mean? I'm sort of rambling here, but it can be very difficult to know clearly what, for you, the reader, to know w with confidence what to say about a particular card. So I'm emphasizing the importance of having a, a clear understanding or having made a decision about what you want, the, what kind of information you want that card to give you. Okay, so... The, 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 the fellow who sent me the emails wanted to know who's going to win the game. Is it going to be Blackpool or Wigan? So I could choose a card and think, okay, um, I'm going to choose a card. Is Blackpool going to win? And I shuffle, choose a card. If the card is upright, 
the answer is yes. If it's upside down, it means no. So I could choose one card, and, and if it's upright, I say, yes, Blackpool's going to win. But what if it's upside down? Blackpool is not going to win. But does that mean that the other that Blackpool is going to lose? Not necessarily, because I could choose one card for Blackpool, and it's upside down, so they're not going to win. I can choose another card for the other team, and it's also upside down, and that means the other team is not going to win either. So there's going to be a tie, it's going to be a draw. Nothing each, one each, two each, three each, whatever it happens to be. So I don't know about just choosing one card and depending on it to be upright or upside down and getting the answer from that. Um, it seems a bit like flipping a coin. Here's a coin. All I need to do is toss a coin. Heads is a win. Tails is a, a, is a loss. But I, I was thinking about this and somehow... Um, uh, I, I don't, okay, let, let, let's say you want to know who's going to win a baseball game, and um, the answer is, okay, are, are the Yankees, a famous baseball team, going to beat the Red Sox? And if you get six batons, this, this relates, because that's a stick, right? And in baseball, somebody throws a ball, and you hit the ball, and you score runs. So this card can relate to baseball. And so will the Yankees win six batons? The answer is yes. And the reason is because they hit the ball better. They get more hits. So they're pitching. The, 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 the pitching of the Yankees on this particular occasion is going to be better than the pitching of the Red Sox. So the Yankees pitch is going to throw the ball and the, 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 the um, Red Sox players, the Boston players, are going to miss whereas the Boston pitcher is going to throw the ball and the Yankees are going to have success at hitting the ball, so they're going to win. So that's, you can get details about how it's going to happen by the picture on the card, and you, whereas if you just toss a coin, you can't. It's just yes or no. So...